inheritance is the process by which one class acquires the properties and methods of another class. It is an important and powerful feature of code reuse. We can create a new class but instead of writing it from scratch, we could use another class as a base class. Let's say you work for a company at which managers are treated differently from other employees. Managers are, of course, just like employees in many respects. Both employees and managers are paid a salary. However, while employees are expected to complete their assigned tasks in return for receiving their salary, managers get bonuses if they actually achieve what they are supposed to do. You have already designed a very simplified version of an employee class that will be used in writing a payroll system of your company. This is the kind of situation that cries out for inheritance. Why? Well, you need to define a new class, manager, and add functionality. But you realize that this new manager class is exactly the same as the employee class. The only difference is it has a bonus. And you can't add that bonus to your employee class because not all of your employee objects will be managers. Now you could do this by creating a completely separate manager class but in an object oriented language a better way is that we will create a new class called manager and then we say we are going to inherit from the employee class. It means manager class automatically acquires everything that the employee class has, all its attributes and behaviors. It happens without us having to write any code. And finally, we could add the bonus attribute to the new class. The term used in defining the relationship are superclass and subclass. They are also referred as the parent class or base class and the child class or derived class. The employee is the superclass or parent class. The new manager class is the subclass or child class. The employee class is a superclass, but not because it is superior to its subclass or contains more functionality. In fact, the opposite is true. Subclasses have more functionality than their superclasses. A simple rule enables you to know whether or not inheritance is the right design for your data. The EASA rule states that every object of the subclass is an object of the superclass. For example, every manager is an employee. Thus, it makes sense for the manager class to be a subclass of the employee class. Naturally, the opposite is not true. Not every employee is a manager. This EASA relationship is the hallmark of inheritance. For a language to support inheritance means that it is possible to express easy relationship among types. For example, a red rose is a kind of flower and a flower is a kind of plant. Inheritance defines a relationship among classes. One class shares the structure or behavior defined in one or more classes, denoting single inheritance and multiple inheritance respectively. Without inheritance, every class would be a freestanding unit, each developed from the ground up. Different classes would have no relationships with one another, since the developer of each provides methods in whatever manner he chooses. Now, inheritance need not stop at deriving one layer of classes. We could have an executive class that extends manager, for example. Executive class will automatically have everything that the manager class has and add, say, goal attribute and perhaps some different behavior. You could also form a subclass programmer or secretary that extends employee and they would have nothing to do with the manager class or with each other. This process can continue as long as is necessary. The great thing is if I make a change in the employee class, it will automatically affect the subclasses. However, there is a healthy tension among the principles of abstraction, encapsulation and inheritance. Data abstraction attempts to provide an opaque barrier behind which state and methods are hidden. Inheritance requires opening this interface to some extent and may allow state as well as methods to be accessed without abstraction.
Defined programming languages trade off support for encapsulation and inheritance in different ways. Generally, the interface of a class may have three parts. Private parts, which declare members that are accessible only to the class itself. Protected parts, which declare members that are accessible only to the class and its subclasses. And public parts, which are accessible to all clients. Now, a few languages like C++ and Python allow you to inherit from more than one superclass and they would bring in attributes and behaviors from multiple other classes. This is referred to as multiple inheritance, but it can get confusing as it's much more common to inherit from one superclass. In Java and C you only inherit from one superclass.